friends, right out here today we're going to be looking at a digital design for my bar top arcade cabinet. Now I went through a couple iterations here and I'm sure you saw last time we did that cardboard design and it kind of sucked so we learned from that and finally started using SketchUp here to mock this up. This is the first draft I'm going to show you and then we'll open the second draft. This is the first draft here. I didn't know what I was doing with SketchUp. It had been a long time since I used drafting software. So I kind of went through this and kind of screwed it up a bunch, but it gave me ideas and figured out for me kind of what I wanted to do. So this panel down here, I obviously wanted big enough to have buttons on it and this one too. And if you'll see this monitor area here, I made it big enough to fit my monitor that I bought. And then this is big enough to fit my Dig Dug marquee. Uh, but this part here on this particular one is not big enough to fit the speakers that I bought. So we learned from this and kind of figured out how to make it better. But another thing we learned was how to make components and everything because this is not like that. It doesn't have components and this is all just lines on this paper here. So, but it did allow me to figure out these angles for all this stuff and what the bevels should be. So that was good, and I figured out the size, more or less. And the reason it only has one side again is because I couldn't figure out how to make it a component once I built it all, because they all share lines. So, once we figured all that out, we went up here and made this second draft, which is probably more in line with what we're actually going to do. So. As you can see, this little purple spot up here is somewhat larger, so it'll allow us to use the speakers we bought. It'll fit the Dig Dug marquee. The screen is made for the right size. The opening might have to be just a little bit smaller so I can kind of router the inside to have something for the screen to sit against when I clamp it together to hold it in place. But right now it should slide in and out perfectly as it is designed right here. So we'll have to think about that um, yeah, so the sides are components, so if we put our little selector tool on, you can see it'll, and then we say move, we can move all the things we selected around, so there's that, that's fun. Oh, it is, it's been so long. Alright, so as you can see, the back is going to need probably a a door or something, and maybe the roof. You need some way to get it off to get in to the back here. We get details, right? So this is pretty much the final design. It's the right size and everything. And I'm pretty happy with it. I think you'll be able to see the screen fine. The marquee won't get in the way or anything. The button layout should be big enough, and it's wide enough that um, me and my brother-in-law or my wife here can stand side by side and not be pumping elbows the whole time. So what I did then is I went over here, if we turn the hand tool back on, and this is kind of laid out in, so this great thing is the marquee, and this is laid out in kind of a, a regular sheet of either MDF or plywood. I think I'm going to use MDF, even though it's going to be heavy, but it's laid out in about a four foot wide going this way, and then to this middle part here is just under four foot so I could have them cut it in half at Home Depot or the hardware store to allow me to uh, fit in my car. And then this other half I can cut these other boards out and then I'll have some left over for when I undoubtedly screw something up and have to make another piece. So yeah it's all laid out pretty. But this is pretty much the final design here. So let me know what you think. Let me know what could be improved or if you've built one of these, what problems you ran into. Keep it real. See you next time. Thanks for watching.